Yo, 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 YouTube people. Giving y'all a little update on everything with the OBS. Wanted to keep y'all in the loop and at least try to pump out, you know, a couple little videos for you still. Trying to keep on, keep on the video stuff, man. I don't want to slack off real bad. But anyways, here's what I got going on right now. Putting the five and a quarters in the rear doors. Getting all this stuff done. I used the crimpers that's got the heat shrink on there. It's not ideal what I wanted to use, but it is what it is for right now. But I even put the little baffle back here. Got these little clips to hold the speaker in tight and to hold the baffle in from the back, not the front. Because if I put the baffle in the mount it from the front, it's too tall and it'll actually hit that grill right there. This one here is completely finished. It actually, the speaker itself, the surround, will rub that grill. So I went ahead and mounted the baffles on the back side and put them little retainer clips on there to hold the baffle and the speaker in. Thought that was a pretty nifty idea. And then put the door or the crossover right here on the door panel. This, I'm actually got uh, connectors, a quick disconnect connector for the wires for that. So I'll actually be able to just pull the whole door panel off with the little quick disconnect connectors that I have. They'll be here tomorrow or Tuesday, so. But yeah, I'll just actually be able to disconnect the whole door panel with the crossover speakers and everything from the from the truck. That way I don't gotta cut no wires or anything like that. It's more or less just like connectors exactly like this. That's all it is, just two. I uh, seen the connectors on a car audio fabrication channel, the CAF channel. And uh, I thought they were pretty cool. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think that'd be pretty nifty. And like I said, man, I'll be able to completely just disconnect it quick, you know, just pop the connector off. Speakers, crossovers, everything, whole rear door panel, but just come right off factory style with everything still attached. So yeah, I got the front doors done pretty much. That's what are the back doors, I'm sorry. Got the back doors done here. That's pretty much what it's gonna look like. And then the front doors. I'm getting ready to start mounting the six and a halfs in the front doors. I got the wheels on the truck. The wheels look so good. I'm going to have to get the wheels balanced with the bead bags. And then all the air pressure set right. And then I also had to get valve stem extenders. Because you can't get to the valve stems on the rear wheels. Or the front wheels, really. So I ordered uh, valve stem extenders. That way I'll be able to air up the dang tires. But anyways, uh, yeah, the front doors, you know, the speakers are actually in the door and the tweeters are on the um, door panel switch here. Tweeters mount right in here. So I don't gotta worry about all that. I just gotta go ahead and wire up the crossover. And I'm probably gonna put the crossover inside the door so yeah, kick panel, it's in there. I'm gonna just go ahead and toss the crossover for the kick panel inside the kick panel. And I'll probably put uh, those quick disconnects on the kick panel too, that way if I ever need to get the kick panel off, I can just you know pop off the whole quick disconnect and the entire kick panel will come off. But you yeah, got the dash put back together. I got my USBs right there. I still haven't figured out exactly what the power wire for the headliner, but I got the headliner for the most part all put up and all the wires tucked away. I have the meteor lights working, which they're not too much meteor versus they're just flashers because I didn't do it right, but you live and learn. But yeah, that, the, the whole meteor box stuff tucked underneath the headliner really nice. And uh, 
but that back, that rear panel right here, this rear panel kind of sucks because if you notice, there's a tab right here on that that's broken. Well, this tab over here is not even there. And that's kind of what holds it up along with some clips underneath that are ended up broken. So to be quite honest with you, I don't know if I broke it or if it was broken before. I feel like those were already broken and I ended up breaking one of the clips underneath, but I could have did it all. I don't know, I don't know. I'm not gonna put the blame on somebody else. You know, I'll take blame if it was my fault, man. I messed it up, so I'm gonna try to figure out a way to get this bolted back up in there and look right still. Hey, stop eating stuff off the ground too, you. You're sick. See my dog's coat, cause she's sick. Hey, stop eating stuff off the ground. Cause she's not feeling so good, so it's not that cold out. But I'm gonna put her in a jacket. You got your collar popped, girl. There you go. That looks better. But yeah, man. I don't know if it was me or if it was already broken. If it was me, I'll take full responsibility. I, I wish I could just find a new one of these pieces I've been searching. Can't find it online. That's going to be extremely hard to find at a junkyard. I still got to get my visors done, but whenever I pick up the rear seats this week for the rear seats, I'm going to take the visors to them and see. Oh, I got my uh, 4x6s mounted in here. And all wired up to in there. Let's see here. Here, see? I made a little spacer plate for them. They're all wired up. Some infinity capos. I had to make I had to redo the spacer plate. But it tucks all in there really nice. No problems, no bulging, no nothing like that. So I, f I had them laying around, so I figured I might as well toss them in there for a little bit of rear staging. But yeah, I got all the wires and stuff tucked away in here. I was happy that everything fit good. I got my Whistling Diesel sticker on the back window, but you can't even tell it's on there because it's black. Look, you can sort of tell. But that's kind of cool that it's like ghosted in there and it's not just bam in your face. You can actually see it way better on camera than you can in person, to be honest with you, though. But yeah, man, it's slowly getting there. I had to take a couple days off because I really wasn't feeling that great. Thanksgiving and stuff like that, too, for the holidays. But I'm trying. I'm trying to get you guys some footage. I got the cow for this. Uh, the smooth cow. It came in. But I did not know that it came in all folded up. And I did not realize that it was the rubber to... Uh, polyurethane I honestly thought that this thing was gonna be fiberglass so I'm gonna to have to let this warm up and take its shape back before I try to put that on to be honest I really hope that this thing takes its shape back like it should and looks okay otherwise if it's kind of wompy and that like some polyurethane is man I'm not gonna put this thing on I've wasted money for no reason But all right, on to the next thing. I will give you guys another update once I'm a little bit farther along again. Thank you guys all for watching the videos, liking, and subscribing. Let me know what you guys think about some stuff. And I still haven't heard too much about the paint comments about the wheels. Let me know what you guys think about that inner part. Later, fellas, ladies and gentlemen, I'm off.